Um, that you get to fast? That you get... Yes, get you get to fast. <laughs> Going for prayers? I fast. Fasting uh, and that uh, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam got the Quran uh, uh, on a night of Ramadan. Uh, at Ramadan we have great food that we can eat and we can uh, spend with our family, friends. It's just how close my family and I get together and how we wake up at Sahur together and how we break our fast together. I like how it brings everyone like closer together, like there could be like relatives that you didn't see for years. It brings me closer to my family and makes my, my bond stronger with Allah. Everything is different in Ramadan, it's uh, more da'wah, more uh, Iman. It's a long day of Ramadan, but longer the day, more discipline it teaches you. Because when I was like six years old and in grade one, I couldn't fast because I was so hungry. My favorite thing about Ramadan is how that you get to give to charity and it's multiplied ten times in your hasanat. And you're supposed to fast, so I'll fast when I grow up. Because I don't really fast because I'm not supposed to do. When I'm my age, my mom says no, maybe when I grow up. Our Ramadan would be much more different if we had our own masjid, our, our own home, because we would do more events, more gatherings. It is a place that we can all come together and share our ideas. It would be like a second home for me and my family, and it would be something that would bring the entire community together. It's not just about the taraweeh. You get to spend time reading the Quran, um, playing with kids in the mosque. That, that means a lot. Um, for me and for the community as well and especially for the young ones. And it will be more regular and um, more comfortable to um, to attend the um, uh, Salat. We could have regular potlucks, we could have interfaith potlucks, and we could have lots of people coming in and just finding out just with the wider, wider community, with neighbors coming in. So I would love it if we had our own masjid. Everybody can go there and pray instead of, you know, renting a public facility. And I feel like the one masjid would really like benefit and encourage more people to come out and pray and encourage me even to like go and pray. I think it's really important for any like religious group to have um, their own designated spot where they can practice their religion. It's just like owning your own house versus renting a house. So uh, you can imagine how great you feel when you're owning your own house. So it's going to be just like that our own masjid we can do you know variety of events we can uh, you can we can invite people from different faiths uh, to, to show them you know uh, what Ramadan is how we spend the day uh, it will make a big difference for our community inshallah and we'll be have a big place to pray if we had our own masjid then we could invite non-muslim to the thing and they could really learn about Islam and if we would bring them closer to Islam then we would be doing a really great deed for ourselves and for Allah I've been planning events for the community for a long time and as an obstacle is very to do it. We were doing it at the church but then I had to move it to my basement because we didn't have the space and the rent had increased. There's endless, endless possibilities of stuff that we can do with the with our own place. Having a masjid really gives us a place to come back to while we're fasting, while we're doing whatever. There is that one place where we will all meet together, we will break our fast and we will make the connections and do our daily good deeds together. <laughs>